Hello everyone, my name is Christopher Davis, aka Coolout, back with another tutorial for the Roland TR-8S. This time I'm going to show you how to transform your TR-8S into a synthesizer, specifically into a monophonic or polyphonic synthesizer that's FM or sample based that can also be multi-timbral. First, some sound examples. So lovely. So what we're doing is we're running the new 2.0 FM engine into various sound slots on the TR-8S. And they're the same sound duplicated. This is all using third-party utilities. So I'll show you the utilities used. First of all, here we have TR-8 Screamer. It's a very important utility. It's a third-party utility that will translate the MIDI note messages into the MIDI control change, that's MIDI CC, for the tune knob here. And that will enable you to play the um, sounds in the TR-8S uh, monophonically. So if you want to add um, bass lines or lead lines, uh, play those with the sounds in your TR-8S. All you would need is that utility, your MIDI keyboard, and of course, your computer. Now I've taken it a step further by um, running the Max for Live version of TR8 Screamer. And along with some other Max for Live plugins, um, that's how I'm able to play um, more than one note, play chords. So with this you'll need Ableton Live, the Max for Live add-on, or Ableton Suite. Let me show you the plugins involved. So here, we have a chain in Ableton that's copied four times. We have a free Max for Live plugin called Mono to Poly, which is designed to use hardware synthesizers and make them play polyphonic. So each chain has one voice assigned to a specific drum sound slot on the TR-8S. So let's just duplicate it. You see one, two, three, four. Now, you can do this up to the full amount of slots in the TR-8S. So you can make an 11 voice synthesizer if you wanted to. You could uh, make it multi-timbral or stack sounds, having, um, say, one sound being these four voices or five voices, have another sound like a bass line being two voices and then your drum sounds. Now, also important is the second MIDI track we have here which is another free Max for Live utility um, that's a CC converter. And what that does, it just takes one control change message and translates it to multiple control change messages that you can assign. So with that, I have the control change messages for the knob movements uh, on one channel assigned to the other three channels. So when I move the FM morph knob, It's moving the morph knob on the other three channels also. Same way with the decay. And that's pretty much it. The thing about this whole system and the thinking behind it is this really what I'm trying to do is treat the TR-8S as, um, as it were a, a modular synthesizer. I was thinking about the history of synthesis and specifically of modular synthesis and the re resurgence of it and how um, really the humble MIDI port and the MIDI specification was designed to um, uh, replace MIDI control change and the patch cables and the patch bays that were previously on the um, synthesizers of the day. So when you look at an approach MIDI as if it was modular, um, you'll find that it has a lot more functionality that most people don't really take advantage of. The humble 
MIDI cable here is really the equivalent of 16 patch cables. And then the even more humble USB port, um, specifically USB MIDI, which is on pretty much every device, you know, that that's modern is out. Um, it's the equivalent because it's bi-directional is the equivalent of 32 patch cables with the addition of playing notes and of sending MIDI sync. So all you need is to kind of corral and put together the separate components. And just like on a modular synthesizer um, with patch cables and CV, you can build your own synthesizer. Um, for instance, we can, um, in addition to the internal uh, things that you can do within the TR8S because you have control over decay on some of these patches. I'm using the transient, transient effect to um, soften the attack. So I have control over the attack. So we have a, a ca attack and decay envelopes. Um, you can add effects. I have a filter here. Um, and then you could also add MIDI LFOs and you can modulate any of those sources. Looking at the MIDI specifications for the TR8S, there are over um, 100 different MIDI CCs that it will receive. So that's the equivalent of a 100 point patch bay, at least, um, that you could apply multiple LFOs, create your own envelopes with, uh, modulate and automate um, a bunch of different parameters. Um, in addition to that, with the TR8S, because we're using each sound as a separate voice, you can actually do a lot of sound design just by playing with the normal uh, parameters of each voice, of each sound slot. For instance, you could, um, and I do a little bit subtle in, in some of these patches, which is you could change the pan position of each voice. So you could have a um, chord that opens up combined with um, moving along the um, um, stereo spectrum. And then you could say, for instance, as you add more notes to the chord, the pan position changes and the reverb level changes because you could set a separate reverb sin or, or insert effect to each sound but have them all play in the same engine. Another thing is that with the modern um, 2.0 FM engine that just came out with the newest firmware update, um, you have a wide range of different um, sounds that are available just by turning the um, control knob and assign it to the FM morph because it's cycling through various configurations of operators. So it's basically like a bunch of different um, oscillators and waveforms that you can cycle through. So you can create a bunch of different sounds and that too can be modulated uh, with an LFO for MIDI LFO. So I hope you enjoy this technique. Um, go check out some of my other videos um, where you can combine these techniques. For instance, the previous video I had using the delay effect and turning it into a looper and you can combine these things and kind of think outside the box and create new sounds, have um, a wild ride exploring new sounds. Um, and create new worlds that um, go beyond just using the TR8S as just a simple drum machine or just a standard drum machine. So have fun. Let me know um, if you're enjoying this technique, if you've played around with it, um, and we'll see you in the forums. Thank you.